and welcome to the eFresh.com meat, egg and poultry news. My name is Mylène and these are this week's headlines. Pork industry asked millions in aid. Large grade A drops dramatically. GMO ban hits sector expansion. Poultry ban Canada lifted. Selenium enriched eggs in India. Canada's pork industry needs an immediate injection of $800 million in government aid to solve the liquidity crisis that's pushed the sector to the brink of disaster. The $800 million would bring producers current with their suppliers, said the president of the Canadian Pork Council at the Alberta Pork Crisis Rally in Calgary. The rally was aimed at raising awareness about the plight of the hog producers in Alberta, where the $1.2 billion industry teeters on the verge of collapse. More than 2,400 people attended the event, where they heard, among other things, how the financial detestation has reduced the number of Alberta pork producers to 450 from 1,500 just three years earlier. Feature activity on regular U.S. shell eggs is up sharply. The average price for large grade A or better shell eggs dropped dramatically when compared to the previous week. Cost to consumer for large grade A and grade AA shell eggs cover a wide spectrum with prices attractively ranging from $0.48 cents to $1.59 per dozen. There is a noticeable increase in ads for extra-large and medium eggs. Specialty shell egg promotion are significantly higher than the previous week and year. Omega-3 white eggs and cage-free brown eggs command the most ad space in this area and are mostly advertised in eastern and midwest regions. In the eggs product sector, liquid egg ads increase in number with 14 to 16 ounce cartons declining in average price but sharply higher in frequency this ad cycle. The ban on genetically modified products in the Philippines has caused prices of feeds to ride and compelled hog and poultry raiser in the province of Negros Occidental to put their expansion plans on hold. Leaders of Hog and Poultry Association said they now pay about 2 pesos more for each kilo of corn after they have stopped buying genetically modified corn, which has been banned in the province. President of Hog and Poultry Association asked the provincial board to leave the ban while the GMO ban ordinance is being reviewed. Last week, the provincial board approved a review of the GMO ban, but pending the evaluation, the ordinance will remain in effect. The Canadian government has lifted its ban on import of birds, poultry and its products from France and the Canadian province of southern British Columbia in the wake of an avian influenza-free certification from global animal health authorities. The Agriculture Department cleared the entry of poultry, meat, day-old chicks, eggs and semen after the certification was issued by the World Organization for Animal Health. The ban was lifted on June 17 for France, after the country was declared AI-free on May 23, while the Canadian province of southern British Columbia was allowed to bring in poultry products on July 22, after regaining its AI-free status on June 11. The government banned poultry importation from France and southern British Columbia early this year. A poultry farm in India has developed selenium-enriched eggs to counter selenium deficiency. The eggs are called super eggs, are selenium-rich and allegedly capable of curing diseases like arthritis, cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. These diseases have a common root in low selenium intake. Considering this, a private egg producer has developed this peculiar egg by feeding hens in layer farms with rich organic selenium fodder, which includes fish, maize and 14 other ingredients. According to research in Scotland University, around 40 diseases related to selenium deficiency have been identified. The poultry farm has a production capacity of 500,000 eggs, which are supplied to the south of India. There are also plans to export these eggs to the Middle East and Europe. 
Thank you for watching the eFresh.com meat, egg and poultry news. See you next time.